Hi, my name is Carlos Andrés Ramirez. Uh, I'm a biology major, and today I'm presenting my 10-year project presentation. Uh, the whole purpose of this um, experiment that we perform was uh, to identify uh, new antibiotics that, to, that could help us uh, fight the current antibiotic crisis that we were facing. Uh, as a reminder, antibiotics have been a huge hallmark uh, in the history of medicine by treating most of uh, the pathogenic bacteria infections. However, uh, this uh, heavy and quite effective um, characteristic of antibiotics has made that societies have misused them and overdosed them uh, in a daily basis or even in some huge industries such as the meat industry. Uh, therefore, it ha has created the perfect grounds for a selective pressure uh, to antibiotic uh, resistant bacteria to evolve. Uh, recently, we have the example of antibiotic resistant uh, being recorded for cholestine, which was a last resource antibiotic uh, in antibiotic resistant infections. So this is just a reminder to that um, antibiotic crisis that we might be facing. Um, so as a class, in an attempt to find new antibiotics, uh, we perform uh, local soil sampling uh, to hopefully find um, new antibiotics to fight the crisis while societies progressively change uh, the misuse of antibiotics. Um, we expect to find, uh, we expected to find uh, a lot of antibiotics in our samples since there's vast literature uh, that record uh, uh, high abundance and variety and diversity of bacteria in soil. Uh, and most of, of our antibiotics come from soil. Um, so first, in uh, our methodology, uh, I personally perform a soil sample in Rotatory Park since it has a history of being a restored project that probably uh, will have good flora and fauna that favors uh, bacteria in the soil. And also, uh, the whole project will probably have bring soil bacteria that were on the bottom to this top surface that hopefully we have in a screen for antibiotic yet. Uh, production yet. Uh, next, we perform uh, dilution and spread plating. Uh, we perform five serial dilutions uh, that then were then uh, classified and analyzed based on a Goldilocks criteria. So only the dilutions that were uh, under the Goldilocks uh, were then continuing subsequent uh, tests. Uh, this is just for have a good representation of the bacteria community of our 10 grams of soil. Uh, then we perform uh, a strict plating in which we will try to continually purify uh, our uh, colonies to obtain single colonies that we can use. In this case, the goal was to obtain 12 colonies that were non-randomly selected and that will continue the testing. Then we did the master plate with those 12 colonies that were selected. Um, and the whole purpose of the master play is basically to have a clear record to first perform a morphological identification of uh, the 12 isolated single colonies that we have selected uh, uh, based on criteria such as um, color, sh shape, uh, margin, um, and elevation. And the whole purpose of this too was also to have a clear record uh, if we needed to repeat the the experiments to compare it also with the posterior antibiotic screening plates and also if anyone wants to check our work and our isolates uh, it can be repeated based on the master plate. Uh, finally uh, we also did um, gram stain in microscopy. Uh, this was uh, used uh, to identify some of our isolates. I selected uh, isolate number three uh, since it had some uh, morphology for antibiotic uh, production, but as I will cover later, uh, antibiotic uh, screening didn't show uh, a positive result. Um, so gram uh, and microscopy was only performed for isolate number three, and then antibiotic screen. So we did uh, three plates that can be seen in figure number four. Uh, the three plates uh, contain a line of three different types of escape safe relatives. Uh, in this case, Pseudomonas aeruginosa, E. coli, and Staphylo uh, epidermidis. Um, and in this case, we did a replicate of our master plate in uh, each one of the antibiotic screening plates uh, with a pick and patch methodology. 
uh, differential and selective media were performed with the isolates that show positive uh, halo morphology for antibiotic production uh, to fully uh, characterize those bacteria to understand if they were um, either gram positive or gram negative bacteria. We also performed biochemical tests with those isolates uh, that were selected as antibiotic producing to further understand their metabolic characteristic and pathways. Uh, so results uh, for the dilution and spread platen, as can be seen in figure number one, uh, we didn't obtain sufficient CFU over gram counts uh, in the Goldilocks range. So therefore, uh, dilution series of 10 to the 4 and 10 to the 5 uh, were not um, accounted in the posterior um, experimental results. Um, we only uh, did the, the experiment based on um, 10 to the number three uh, serial dilutions that show a value of 42,000 CFU per gram. Uh, the strict plating can be seen in figure number two. Uh, I will remark that we had six um, strict plates and only showing three since these ones are the ones that contain uh, the antibiotic isolates that we are interested on, but there were six containing our 12 isolates. Um, the master plate, as can be seen in figure number three, uh, we had a clear distinction of single colonies uh, that we characterized and had data on, on them to fully understand uh, their morphology and then compare that to the antibiotic screening. And the antibiotic screening was also uh, compared to the master plate, as can be seen in figure number four. And based on, on that morphology, we identify um, isolate seven and 11 as being antibiotic producers since they show a halo morphology to be uh, the positive criteria for antibiotic producing. However, they only show that uh, morphology under uh, Pseudomonas aeruginosa alone uh, plate, but not under E. coli or S. epidermidis. All of the isolates show normal growth on either of them of the antibiotic screening plates, which suggests this idea that they are uh, specialized for these high competitive environments that they could grow uh, normally, although they didn't produce antibiotic as we expected um, from, from our hypothesis. Uh, the biochemical test, as can be seen here, was performed. Uh, we have the differential and selective media with uh, the McConkie agar. Uh, this was mainly used uh, to identify. Uh, we also perform uh, control groups for this test. So as you can see, E. coli and B. subtilis were selected as the control group since uh, those two bacteria were are easily to identify and we have vast literature on them. So as expected from the control group, E. coli showed normal growth and uh, this pink coloration, which represents um, a positive result for being a lactose fermenting bacteria and gram negative. Uh, in the case of B. subtilis, it should not no growth uh, as expected since it is a gram positive bacteria. Therefore, uh, with our control group, we can say accurately that our isolate 11 is a gram negative uh, bacteria that is non lactose fermenting. And similarly, our isolate uh, 7 is also. Uh, gram negative bacteria that is non lactose fermenting. As expected, and as I said, with the uh, gram staining microscopy, we use uh, our knowledge on isolate number three to also use it as a control group, and it showed uh, the accuracy of, of growing since it, is, uh, it was identified as a gram negative bacteria. Uh, posterior, uh, we also did. Um, uh, experimentation of biochemical test, uh, and I'm showing in the experimental group. However, we also did the gelatinase test for um, um, isolates and the control group. Um, as you can see, um, isolate 11 is the one that show uh, positive proteolytic activity by having a positive result of gelatinase to a liquid state. And in the case of catalase, we have catalase hydrogen peroxide reaction on isolates 11 and 7 compared to the E. coli and B. subtilis as was expected too. This further adds to the information of how these pathogens, um, excuse me, these microorgan microorganisms are different from each other and has specialized characteristics. Um, so finally, uh, the conclusion of this uh, experiment, we had a positive uh, result for antibiotic production, uh, which supports the thesis that it can readily uh, be found on soil environments. 
Um, it is feasible also to consider that there was a pure bacteria abundance on the Celsius. We only had two positive results only under Pseudomonas originals as compared to the 12 isolates under the other escape pathogens. However, uh, further research is needed to first uh, isolate the antibiotic um, substance to identify if its mechanism of action, how it can be uh, purified, hopefully used also under pharmaceutical manufacturing, and also how effective it is uh, to attack each one of the escape pathogens, real escape pathogens, and not the safe relatives. Um, Similarly, um, it is important to identify more characteristics and especially the taxonomy of these uh, isolates, uh, number seven and number 11, to understand the whole picture of their capability as antibiotic producing. However, the significance of the results is just adding more information to the need of con constantly uh, uh, sample our soils for, for finding new antibiotics that could help us fight uh, the antibiotic crisis that we're facing. Um, and that's it. Uh, thank you.